Hello friends and welcome to my channel Simply Stocks and today I am going to talk about Bosch which is a top auto parts manufacturer and has been doing well in the market for the last few weeks. So let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I am not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about Bosch, here's one request that kindly support me on Patreon and wants to do that to help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions and eke out answers in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list and a number of podcasts I put up from time to time on short term, long term market calls. And if you can pay $100 up front, you get one year access by paying for 10 months. For detailed market or company talk, you can directly email me and we can work things out with a fee. And also if you cannot pay on Patreon, you can probably take the WhatsApp membership that is available on a yearly basis. Now at the company established in 1886 in Germany, it manufactures forging and auto components for heavy commercial vehicles and medium commercial vehicles and have exports to North America, Europe and most of Asia. Uh, it also manufactures components for cars and two wheelers and the market cap of the company is around 51,000 crores. So it is a larger mid cap company that we are talking about one of the marquee brands in the auto ancillary space. If you look at the numbers, these are Q2 numbers that came out just a few weeks back. So sales went up by around 22% in this quarter and profits were flat. So margins dipped sharply, although the stock has performed appreciably over the last three to four months. There's high promoter and institutional holding with about 7% free float that is with the retail investors. Operating profit margins of 11% is not that great. And that gives me an, an opportunity to tell you that uh, over a period of time, once things normalize and stabilizes, uh, these margins should expand. In terms of the performance, stock has done very well in the last 3-4 months. Uh, over the last 6 months, it has done extremely well. It is up over 40% from the lows and numbers have improved sharply. So uh, the profits and sales were declining for the last many quarters. But things have appreciably improved over the last, uh, you can say, 2 quarters or so. Valuations are still reasonable as numbers are set to improve going forward. I believe once uh, the situation in Europe stabilizes, especially in Russia and Ukraine, and if the situation or the recession fears that is there for the US and Canada region, if that goes away, we'll see a better run up in, in stocks such as Bosch and growth had virtually stalled in the last few years. But now things are coming back into shape. It also gives very decent dividends. So in terms of what are the reasons for the stock crash that happened in 2020 and over this period say over the last 2-3 years heavy commercial vehicles were under pressure in North America and the North American sales for HCVs uh, drastically dropped over the last 2-3 years and then there was also a pressure on the oil so oil prices when it surged then also what happened was the commercial vehicles and overall the vehicles and automobile uh, sales dropped uh, appreciably but things are now uh, coming back uh, uh, to normalization in terms of uh, Brent crude prices also which is now trending around 80 to 85 dollars per barrel around 80 dollars per barrel which is quite uh, good uh, and uh, we are seeing that things are uh, better than April and yet very gloomy at the moment but whatever was uh, taking place between February and April things have gotten better right now and probably over the next six months uh, things should be much better than uh, where we are seeing uh, the market uh, uh, to be. So in my opinion what needs to be done is that accumulate over the next three months uh, this stock on major declines and have a three year view the company should do well you should get around 20% CAGR on the stock so a 60 to 70% upside over the next three years possible and sector may revive by next year so so, so you can see a more or a better run up rather than what is envisaged at the moment. So this was my video on Bosch. Please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when I post it and kindly do uh, subscribe to my Patreon network. Thanks a lot for watching.